Pediatric Neuropsychology, Wikipedia Article Audio Pediatric neuropsychology is a subspeciality within the field of clinical neuropsychology that studies the relationship between brain health and behavior in children. Many pediatric neuropsychologists are involved in teaching, research, supervision, and training of undergraduate and graduate students in the field. Definition 5 Maxims A Pediatric Neuropsychological Evaluation Disorders Commonly Evaluated by Pediatric Neuropsychologists Board Certification in the United States undergraduate and graduate psychology programs generally do not offer a track in pediatric neuropsychology, per se. Specific supervised training in pediatric neuropsychology typically begins at the internship or postdoctoral level, as the graduate student is completing or has just completed a Ph.D. or Psy.D. in clinical child psychology, pediatric psychology, clinical neuropsychology, or school psychology. In the UK formal clinical pediatric neuropsychology training is available via UCL. This makes up part of the British Psychological Society's criteria for accreditation as a pediatric clinical neuropsychologist, known as the Qualification in Clinical Neuropsychology. Other requirements included documented supervised practice and the submission of a portfolio of clinical cases. Once completed pediatric clinical neuropsychologists are eligible to be on the specialist register of clinical neuropsychology run by the BPS. Most pediatric neuropsychologists have several years of postdoctoral training regarding developmental or acquired neuropathology in children. Pediatric neuropsychologists work in any setting where children with central nervous system dysfunction are treated. This includes neurology, neurosurgery, and psychiatry practices as well as in hospital and outpatient settings. In addition to assessing and treating children with medical disorders such as traumatic brain injury, brain tumors, or epilepsy, pediatric neuropsychologists work with children who have attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, learning disabilities, intellectual and developmental disorders autism, or Asperger's syndrome. Some may work in other settings, such as schools, and provide more traditional mental health services as well. In the United States, consistent with the current American Psychological Association's definition, proficiencies can only be acquired through appropriate education and training focused quite specifically and intensively on defined content. People in the field are sometimes referred to as neurodevelopmentalists. As of 2005 there was debate in the field as to whether neurodevelopmentalists should be made a new speciality. In many ways, pediatric and adult neuropsychological practice are the same, but there are important differences. Some of these differences can be seen as maxims of neuropsychological practice with children include The neuropsychological evaluation is used to determine the pattern of brain-related strengths and weaknesses to understand the origin of the problem and to make a diagnosis. Often, this will guide specific treatment recommendations. Pediatric neuropsychological evaluations are performed by licensed professionals and are helpful in determining functional outcomes and guiding interventions related to genetic syndromes, prenatal influences on development, systemic illness affecting the nervous system, acquired brain injuries or developmental conditions such as autism or learning disabilities. In the United States and Canada, each state or province licenses professionals to practice psychology. Additionally, two boards specifically examine and certify neuropsychologists engaged in pediatric practice. The American Board of Pediatric Neuropsychology, 
a subsidiary of the American Academy of Pediatric Neuropsychology, is an exclusively pediatric board, the American Board of Clinical Neuropsychology, a specialty board of the American Board of Professional Psychology, provides board certification for clinical neuropsychologists who subspecialize with different populations, including pediatric, lifespan, epilepsy, traumatic brain injury rehabilitation, geriatric, forensic work, etc.